Tacoma County Sheriff's Office is attempting to locate a missing person, identified as 45-year-old Shayna Allison DeMambro. DeMambro is 5 feet 6 inches, 140 pounds, with brown hair, blue eyes, and fair complexion. DeMambro was last seen on Tuesday, July 19, 2022, at approximately 7 a.m. at her residence in the 100 block of Mitchell Drive, Spring Branch, Texas. She was last seen wearing a white v-neck t-shirt, pink shorts, and black flip-flops. Shayna's parents are worried about her, along with her husband. If you have any information regarding this case, please contact the Comal County Sheriff's Office at 830-620-3400. Also, if you'd like to help, please share this video on your community post or re-upload this video. I will make sure and put the license as a Creative Commons after it is uploaded. Creative Commons licenses give a standard way for content creators to grant someone else permission to use their work. YouTube allows creators to mark their videos with a Creative Commons CC by license. If you've marked your video with a CC by license, you retain your copyright. Before we end this video, I would like to add that if Vicky and her family need anything from us, we will do for them whatever we can do to help. God bless each and everyone. Shayna's mother has a YouTube channel called Vicky's Country Home, which I will leave a link to in our description and comments. She did a video recently about her missing daughter, Shayna. The description reads, Our daughter Shayna has been missing one week since July 19, 2022. She disappeared from her RV home in Spring Branch, Texas in Comal County. Please watch for her and share this video. We really need your help. If you see anything, Please contact the Comal County Sheriff's Office at 830-620-3400. Here's a short clip of Vicky's latest video about her daughter. Hello everyone and first of all, I, I just truly want to thank everyone for sharing and for praying because right now that's the best hope we have. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Brian got back from San Antonio Sunday. He, they hit the ground running. They shared flyers and posted them as many places as possible. But you reach a point where you just, there's not much more you can do physically. And so he came home. We still have to work. We still have to keep our lives going. Um, and it's, it's hard. We are reading all of your comments. <laughs> and there's, there's so many and we thank you so much just in case we miss something. So we are reading every comment and I want you to know that I can't respond to you all. I just can't, but I do thank you from the bottom of my heart. We don't really know anything. We have some ideas, but I just want you to know that we're not leaving anything on the table. We, we are looking at everything possible. We have a number of search or organizations that are trying to help us. And Texas EquiSearch and Project Absentis, there's some search and rescue groups, there's a local business owner, they're all trying 